directors of the Dallin Art Museum. Welcome to the beautifully renovated Winnemore Park, where we love holding our Patriots Day event and Art on the Green, in which was phase one of the park's renovation. Phase two, addressing both side gardens, this and that one, and um, behind the house, Phase two, addressing both side gardens in the back of the house, will be completed over the summer. Let me review a couple of the museum's accomplishments from this past year. The Arlington Center Monthly Walks, presenting Arlington history and iconic monuments, buildings, and sculpture, will continue this year with director Andrew Jay leading the tour from May through September. Please check our website. This past year, the museum presented wonderful virtual programs about Paul Revere, the Stero Memorial, sculptures of influential women, as well as an unveiling of two formerly unknown paintings by Dallin, Mrs. Hall's letter and Cyrus's self-portrait. Both are on exhibit in the museum. The museum will be open after this program. The museum also acquired a 1952 bronze cask of the Paul Revere from the Unum Insurance Company, also on exhibit. Currently, we have very, three very exciting projects, and we are very grateful to Sean Garbley, who procured a generous grant from the state needed reservation and renovation. The Community Preservation Committee and Freedom's Way Heritage Area also provided substantial funding. The digitization of our archives, rehousing photos, manuscripts, and other valuable material, as well as the future renovation of the Central Hall and the Native American Gallery are due to generous grants from these organizations. To complete the projects, the museum will be closed until June. I want to thank our heroic trustees, Ellen Armour, for organizing our Patriot Day event. She's been all over this. She has worked her tail off. Thank you, Ellen. We have expanded the past programs to include historic content of colonial times, a reading of the Midnight Ride of Paul Revere, the Battle of Monotony, the story of Dallin sculpture, and a corollary to Longfellow's poem. We will begin with the historic content of Revere's Ride with Michael Rudderman, town meeting member. Thank you all for coming.